It goes well with this next segment. Of course, we're talking about sex scandals. They can make or break a politician's career. In fact, yesterday, top aide Hillary Clinton, whom Abedin announced she is separating from her husband, former Congressman Anthony Weiner, after another sexting scandal. The question is, how does she recover from another public betrayal? Another one. So joining us right now, Esther Boykin, licensed marriage and family therapist. It's nice to have, have you with us. Thanks for having me. Okay, so we, we saw this break again. He's done it again. Mm -hmm. This is the final straw that broke the, the camel's back here. I mean, were you surprised it took this long? No. I, I mean, unfortunately, not really yeah. very surprised. It's pretty typical of what I see. I think we assume that, oh, it's, it must be a terrible marriage if this something like this happens, mm -hmm. if there's a betrayal. Mm -hmm. And usually it's not. Usually there are things that are workable, and I think particularly early in marriage with kids, you want to work on it. You oh, want sure. to try to make it better. But what makes it, I think, harder is that this is so public, and it's not the first time. So the first time we know she went back to him, they had a baby. How do you get through this again, and everybody knows about it? Most of us don't live the public life where everybody knows the details like this. I think that absolutely makes it much more challenging because there's often a lot of shame, not just for the person who was unfaithful, but for their partner. And so it's hard enough to deal with that kind of shame and humiliation personally within family and friends who already love you. Mm -hmm. So publicly, it's really difficult. All right, we know that, that Huma Abedin and Hillary Clinton have always had a very close relationship. They've been tight because they worked at the State Department together. Now, here we are at this point, and we have a couple mentions on there on the screen of just, just infidelity. Um, so think about this. Hillary Clinton had a very high-profile recovery from Bill's affair. Mm -hmm. She ran for Senate. She was a senator. That turned into this whole political career. You know, do you think that her, that she has a lot in common here with, with Huma Abedin? I mean, are their situations similar? Without, I mean, certainly I'm not in their sure, relationship, right, right. but I, I, my sense is that their situations are a little bit different. If for no other reason, then here, you know, who was in a situation where this has happened again? Yeah. Um, and so they, they've done the work, and for whatever reasons, it didn't come back together. Right. And so I think that makes it a little bit different versus Hillary, where they both came out very committed to making it work, moving forward, and then seemingly have done that. Yeah. All right, Esther Boykin, marriage and family <laughs> therapist, thank you for helping us try to get through these sex scandals in politics. Yes. Absolutely. Tough times for all of us. Very tough times. <laughs> hopefully, I, you won't need me back. No, no, <laughs> no come back. It's always fun. Well, yeah. hopefully, I can come hopefully, back for something. Right. right. Hopefully, it'll be like, you know, I don't know, how do you become the first. I don't know. Well, we'll talk we'll about managing it. your stress. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that'd be good. We yeah, need okay. to get around here. We'll, we'll talk about that, yes. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. Keep your tweets and comments. 5 to 6.30. We'll be right back. <laughs>